this is Robert with Boot Planet Surf, and this is... I'm Evan from StandUpPaddleSurf.net, and we're doing another board meeting right here in Blue Planet Surf Shop in Ward Avenue. Okay, so today we're yeah. going to talk about this new paddle that Robert's got. It's a racing paddle. I saw it on his Facebook post. I don't know why. I should, probably should have known about it earlier, but I guess I didn't. Um, and let's, Top let's talk about it. Okay, yeah, so this is just um, an uh, early prototype. We're still kind of working. This is kind of uh, still in work in progress right now. And we're actually planning to do a quick starter, a Kickstarter campaign to, um, to launch this um, new paddle. And um, really excited about it. But, um, you know, we still got a few things to, to finalize and figure out. Um, but it's, it's a really unique paddle. It's actually an all molded construction. So it's made up of three pieces that are all each piece is molded and um what do you mean so like I, this this piece right here and then there's a middle shaft piece to here and then this is the bottom piece all one piece yeah yeah uh -huh. so you know traditionally paddles are like have a blade that's molded and a handle that's molded okay. and then the shaft part in the middle is is rolled on a mandrel in a press right so um, but we wanted to add some features like um you know these knobs in the front for grip gripping being able to grip it and then have a you know an oval tapered shaft that's also um, slightly okay. oblong, and and those kind of things you just can't do with a rolling press, you know. So um, by by using three molds to make this paddle all in all molded construction, this um, you know uh, bladder molding process is called. You're able to, we're able to um, do a lot more. Um, have a lot more features like that. So just kind of similar to how they do like. Um like the SIC boards, like that um, kind of mold. No, it's similar to how the blades are made. Basically, instead mm -hmm. of just making the blade in the mold, we're making the whole paddle in molds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So basically, yeah. The, I mean, usually the blades and the handles are made with um, bladder molding. Um, I'm not sure the SIC so boards, can, the hollow boards, maybe it's made similar similar method. But this is kind of you know, it's um, it's kind of different, I think, than a board mold. How do you adjust the the length and stuff like that, or just one so, piece. So this one, is. this one, we we kind of glass this one together. Um, um, it's an early prototype. We still have to um, finalize the ferrules and stuff. But basically, yeah, this this piece here is one piece, and then there's a ferrule that slides into the, the middle piece, and this is where you cut it right at the bottom of the middle piece. Mm. So this one has like a constant diameter that goes up um, certain length that you where you can cut it to whatever length. But even so with these knobby things then? Yeah, so you always cut it between the knobs, you know, so um, you don't want to cut it in the middle of a knob, you know. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, and then also the, because it's shaped, um, because of that oval shape, the oblong shape, it also um, keeps it from turning, you know, like the ferrule and the paddle fit together so they can't, they can't twist, you know. So because of that, we're able to use hot glue to put the, them together. Um, and then and then that allows you, you know, if, if you basically, if you take um, a heat gun, you can take your paddle apart easily mm -hmm. for travel too, you know? So it's basically a three-piece paddle. kind of like what the Kinalu ones like that. Yeah, there. Kinalu uses hot glue and um, Starboard's been using it too. Um, but one advantage of these ones is they can't twist loose. Like sometimes the round shaft will twist. Mm -hmm. Um, and this one, because it's uh, oval shape, it can't. It, it, it's less of an issue, so it can't twist. Um, so the the hot glue should should work well, and then it allows you to take the paddle apart. So if you're traveling, you can actually fit this in a in an inflatable board bag, you know. Um, so How strong is this material right here compared to the other carbon paddles mm -hmm. and so on? Well, this is this is full full carbon. It's like. Um, you know, military grade, um, high modulus carbon fiber. It's like the, the best carbon you can get basically pre Because this is light. It's not as yeah. light as like the super light stuff, but it's still feeling pretty light. Yeah, this one, this this prototype like is glass, around yeah. 20 ounces, you know. We're, we're shooting to get it down to like 17 ounces. Yeah, this one has like some reinforcements and stuff that we added. Um, like I said, yeah, we're still, um, still finalizing the, um, you know, we have to, um, tweak the strength like basically we, you know some of the areas will have to be reinforced more and some can we can go a little bit lighter so we're trying to um, figure out where the weak points are to make it as strong as possible without um, yeah so the construction is this is, foam, um, co foam core inside this thing or yes no? this has a foam core inside so it'll come back up it'll have some buoyancy or not really well all paddles will float because they're hollow inside right yeah. but like you know like when you when you when you when you take a stroke the ones with a little more foam kind of yeah, that little I mean, this, yeah, it's a matter of the weight and the volume. Yeah, but yeah, they do. It does float for sure, you know. And this ABS on the 
edge or what? Yeah, it has ABS inserts on the edges. So that if you bang it on stuff or whatever, it won't chip as badly, hopefully. Right. right. And then what, what's this thingy on the bottom, like like three dihedral looking thing? Yeah, so we can talk a little bit about the blade design. You know, it kind of a lot of thought went into this and, and we did a bunch of R&D. We made um, uh, several blades um, to, to test, you know, we did some underwater testing. Basically, what I'm trying to do is minimize the amount of air that gets pulled down when you when you plant your paddle, and you pull on it. You know, if you pull hard, there's always going to be um, a little bit of air getting um, created along the edges of the paddle. You know, so what we were trying to do is um, trying to minimize that to um, allow your paddle to grab more and slip mm -hmm. less, basically. You know, so I found um, you know by doing that underwater testing, it's like even though I, I feel like I have good catch and I have good technique. I still almost... What do you do? Like you put a camera or something underneath and watch it? Under the board, yeah. Uh -huh. And I have some footage, so I mean, maybe we can put that in this video as well. But um, but basically, you know, there's always like um, some, some kind of air bubbles that form along the tip, along the edges, and up here especially. So um, on this paddle, you know, we made the tip kind of pointy, so okay. that that allows the kind of the water surface tension to kind of get um, break by the paddle and allow a smoother entry without having as much bubbles if you just have a, like a wide flat um, tip it, it seems like that will um, break the water uh, more forcefully and kind of create more bubbles so that little tip helps to get a smooth entry into the water and then you know we have that concave area right here that kind of grabs water like when you're swimming you know it's like kind of like your hand kind of cups the water so that's kind of the idea with this but it's not super wide, so it's not like a super aggressive catch, but a, a good solid catch, you know? And then it turns into, um, you know, dihedral, kind of double concave dihedral, um, pretty deep dihedral. So, and that, that's just to keep the paddle from fluttering. So when, once you get into that power phase, you, um, you really pull on that paddle, it, it just kind of, you get a s smooth power So you power notice phase. a huge difference with this paddle on your other blades? I mean, on this blade and your other blades, or, or It's what? definitely a good, good high performance feel, you know? Yeah, for sure. I mean, is it harder on your shoulder? I mean, is does it take more to pull it through the water? Um, more resistance. You know, what? this this blade here is uh, 98 square inches, so it's a fairly big size blade. So yeah, it's pretty powerful. We're, we're planning to also make a smaller version that's about 88 square inches. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have two sizes. So um, you know, for those if you have like shoulder issues, definitely you know using a smaller blade or doing longer distance paddles and things like that. And also for surfing, sometimes um, ha you know it depends on your personal preference. But um, definitely having a, a smaller blade is another option. Okay, and then and then moving up here, this is an area where we, we found a lot of paddles create. Um, basically, this is kind of where you know air turns to water when you're stroking, right? So this, if there's anything here on the paddle that creates um, like a break or, or sharp edges or anything here, we found that's where um, bubbles get created and then they get pulled down the paddle, you know. So that's why I kind of um, tried to make this part as, as fluid dynamic as possible. So it's kind of, you know, on, on the front of the blade, it has that uh, a dihedral as well. And then it kind of, it's kind of like an air dynamically shaped shaft. And, you know, because our mold goes all the way up to here, we're able to shape this shaft however we want. Most, most um, paddles end here, so there's like a break here. And there's a lot of times there's edges along the side here. So when I, did some under the underwater testing. I noticed, yeah, this is an area where there's a lot of times a lot of um, air turbulence created, and then it gets pulled down as you know, pulled down the front of the the um, paddle, and then that creates slippage. You know. So, you, but you're finding that when you use this paddle, <laughs> it you can feel a difference. Yeah, it's very efficient. You know, if and efficiency is key when you're paddling a long distance. Every little. Um, bit of efficiency will make a difference. And yeah. you're not feeling like the blade size or this this is harder on your shoulder than your other mm -hmm. blades that are this type of... Um, um, I would say um, you could probably diameter. go with a smaller paddle mm -hmm. because it's so efficient, you know? Yeah. Because you, so, your shoulders were, were kind of hurt a little bit yeah, recently. Yeah, I, so. I had some shoulder issues. It's better now. I've been doing a lot of um, And exercises. you feel no, no problem with this? I haven't had any issues yet. So what about the flex on this thing? I know it's kind of really stiff all the way through. Yeah, it's pretty rigid because it has that oval shape too. So uh -huh. yeah, the, like the shaft is pretty really, rigid. Really yeah, really, really. So uh, we're thinking about stiff. maybe having a, um, another another um, shaft option that had that where we put more flex into it. I mean, basically with the construction, you can control the flex of the shaft. But an oval shaft is always going to be a little bit stiffer because that oval shape basically is kind of like a. I-beam construction, you know, it's basically uh -huh. makes the, the shaft stiffer, 
but um, me personally, I like a stiff shaft, but you know, we, we can definitely make it so it has more flex, so um, we can offer so that in different constructions. You're not going to offer this until you do the Kickstarter? Um, yeah, I mean, well, we, we're, we are planning to do have it uh, have these paddles available to the public like in early 2016. Mm -hmm. So it is, and we're going to come out with them regardless. But we are going to have like a special offer on Kickstarter. So basically, people that um, kind of get on board early and support support us um, for making the molds and all the development and so on, um, you know, have an opportunity to basically get a paddle at a good deal. You know, better what? deal than, oh. than uh, what we're going to sell them for when they come out. Okay. So yeah, and that's are you going to make other paddles too, or I mean that, that are um, we make a lot out of or we, we make a lot of paddles, but this is kind of the the one that this is our first like kind of full full start to finish design, and you know we uh, we we had this all scanned, so it's like a three D file that we can tweak um, make tweaks to. So you know uh, in the future, if possible, we have like different iterations of it. You know, like I said, we're going to have a second blade size, and maybe have some small tweaks to it as well. You know, to mm -hmm. improve it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, and the name of this paddle we call it the Kaizen paddle, which is mm -hmm. you know the Japanese for incremental improvements, you know, so um, or you know continuous improvement. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of the goal for this one, and, and then it's kind of a double meaning to the Kai in Hawaiian is ocean, right? There. So it's like um, you know the Kaizen paddle. The thing that and we didn't. Oh, mm -hmm. sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, and then this is also pretty unconventional. This the, the, um, giant the handle. looking handle. Yeah, so it's kind of designed to to really sit in the palm of your hand. And uh, kind of um, make you um, like you know basically encourages you to have good technique where you're pushing the paddle down with your palm. You know, your palm real comfortably. It doesn't create any blisters or anything, and um, and it's just um, interesting. Very ergonomic for your fingers. Keeps you kind of have a, you can have almost a, relax it. Yeah. yeah, you have a loose grip on your hand, so you don't try to over grab your handle. It should be really a loose grip, and then it has these little bumps. So even if you grab the paddle a little bit lower, shorter. We still get very good grip. It, it, it doesn't let your hand slip on the on the shaft. You should call this again. the crocodile the crocodile shaft. <laughs> yeah, looks like yeah, crocodile. Call the nubs, but I guess yeah, crocodile shaft. Yeah, but um, Croc skin. But it works really well. Basically, it keeps your hands from sliding up and down. But it doesn't like some sometimes if you put like rough um, like you know there's like tape and other stuff to make your paddle more grippy. But you know if you paddle for a long time, that'll make your your hands get blisters and and um, and or um, really big calluses and stuff like that, you know. So, you know, or you can wear gloves, but then, you know, then you don't have that same... The, What's the deal the with the, uh, making this thing one piece that goes all the way down here instead of mm -hmm. having, you know, like, yeah, like interchangeable handles and all that? Right. Well, so, I mean, that's, you know, basically, um, you know, one thing is that there, this is a seamless um, construction right. right here, so there's no seams or like sometimes I, I've been getting like kind of um, blisters just from that, that seam. So just comfort, you know. not so much strength? It's comfort. Um, yeah, not necessarily the strength, but it's, and then it also allows us to have these bumps here. So mm -hmm. if you do um, want to, like instead of holding the paddle up here, you can lower your grip. The Conor Baxter um, action. Yeah, Conor Baxter yeah. style. And then, and then with these nubs, you still have a really nice um, grip wherever you grip the paddle, you know. So, mm -hmm. so that's something that we can do by making it a molded piece, you know. Cool. Yeah. That's cool. So, okay. So yeah. we'll keep an eye out for this on Kickstarter then, right? Yeah. We'll put something up and make yeah, sure yeah. that everybody when, knows. When it comes out on Kickstarter, we'll, we'll let you guys know. Okay, cool. Well, thanks. That's it for this week's uh, board meeting, and we will see you next time. All right. Thanks for watching. Please you subscribe down below. Please subscribe. Please give us thumbs up. Yeah. No such thing as thumbs down, please. No, th <laughs> no thumbs down. And p watch the um, previous videos uh, that we've posted. Thank you. Oh. And also, if you can, check out the website, standuppaddlesurf.net and blueplanetsurf.com.